Welcome everyone to Quick Tutorials. I'm your host Elijah, and today we're going to be talking about how to make hover triggers in PowerPoint. Now, most of you who know about PowerPoint know that there's a very easy way that you can make animations trigger, and that is by on the click of a shape. So in this case, if you want this shape right here to animate, in which case we'll make it spin, and then we want a shape that will act as our trigger. You can make a trigger itself, but for our purposes, we'll make it a separate shape. And what we're going to do is we obviously need to select this and then we need to tell it to trigger on the click of that rectangle right there. And we'll prove it by calling it trigger. And you can see it appears right over here. So when we run the slide, show me click on this and the animation appears. That's great. What if you want it to happen when you just hover over the shape and not when you trick, you can actually click on it. Well, for that, we're gonna use a clever trick. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this shape, we're gonna move it out here. And then we're gonna take another shape and we're gonna bring it out here. And then we're gonna go into the developer tab and we're going to create a public sub. And we're going to call this hover trigger. And we're going to use what's called the send keys command. And what this does is it will actually send key presses to your presentation window. And we're going to create that little macro right there. Then we're going to go here. We're going to go to insert, go to action, go to mouse over, and then click run macro. And you can see we have our macro right here. Click OK. And now what it's going to do is it's going to press tab and then enter. So you can see if I go into here and I don't use the macro, if I press tab once and then press enter, you can see that it runs our animation. So now that you know that you've pressed tab once and hit enter, you just make sure that it presses tab and hit enter once over here. And provided that you've done that correctly, when you hover over the shape, the animation plays. Pretty simple. One thing you do need to be aware of, though, is if, for example, I create a second one of these, you can see it runs that one. If I press tab once, enter. Now if I press tab twice and press enter, it actually presses that. So if I wanted to activate the third one, I actually need to check. One, two, three, and now it works. So now if I wanted to activate that one, I go into here and I make sure that it presses tab three times, not twice. So you always want to make sure that you are doing it enough times that it's actually going to activate the correct one. And once you've done that, then you've activated the correct one. Pretty simple things. Not too difficult at all. So hopefully, guys, this gives you a basic understanding of how to make hover triggers in PowerPoint. Thank you for watching.